our Civil Air Patrol squadron was privileged to host an aviation legend. Colonel Mary Fike's achievements and awards are so many that we can only brush past them here. But it all started early in her life. I remember I was 12 years old and there was a Curtis Jenny flew over our shop and I went to my father and I said I want a, a flight in that airplane with a barnstormer. So he got in the car, we found out where it landed and for five dollars I got an hour and a half worth of flight. And when I came home and I told my mother about it, she fainted on the kitchen floor. Young Mary Fike overhauled an automobile engine at her father's shop at age 13. By the time she was 18, she was hired as an aircraft mechanic at Wright Field, Ohio, now known as Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. When I got my job at Wright Field and I was 18 years old, up until then, to think about flying in an airplane would be tantamount for thinking about flying to the moon. The young woman found herself teaching aircraft maintenance to crew chiefs and mechanics in 1942. At age 19, she designed the Captive Air that allowed for flight training in real aircraft, but on the ground. One of the aircraft was the powerful P-51 Mustang fighter plane. She called it a fire-breathing dragon. She was a test pilot for numerous aircraft. The list includes America's first jet fighter, the P-80. Yes, that Mary has those big, powerful planes eating out of her hand. And they even call the P-80 jet fighter Mary's little lamb. Colonel Fike logged more than 6,000 hours as a pilot in command in many different fighter, attack, bomber, cargo, and training aircraft. After World War II ended, she went to work restoring aircraft at the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. Being airborne, even today, with all the thousands of hours that I have in all kinds of airplanes, when I fly my little airplane, my Piper Comanche, the minute I take off and I suck the gear up, everything that bothered me on the ground is left there. But being in the air is the most exciting, most wonderful thing after all these years. I still have the same feeling that nothing bothers me when I'm airborne. When she retired in 1971, Colonel Fike immediately joined the Civil Air Patrol, and she has served with us for many years since then. A number of cadets in our squadron have received the Special Mary Fike Achievement, which Cap named in honor of her amazing career and service. She has something she likes to say to young people every chance she gets. The same thing that my father said to me when I left home for my first job in research and development at Wright Field, the last words my dad said to me was, aim high and follow your dreams. And that works for all the young people in, in the world, because it worked for me. Thank you very much for being in our video on behalf of our cadet soldier. Well, thank you so much for inviting me and allowing me to be doing it. Thank you so much. All right, great.